For personalized astrology reports and interesting blogs, make sure you click on my original and correct website and that's www.vedicoraclebykadamuri.com just heard the sound of sun, the very heartbeat of our star. When NASA recorded the changing vibrations of sun, the world acknowledged how soothing the sun sounds. Many people considered that it looks like our sun is constantly chanting Om, which is itself the symbol of universal soul. Astronomically, sun is a glowing mass of hot gases, but according to mythology, sun is a very important deity. He has the duty to bring light, vision, heat and growth to the world. Every day he travels across the sky in his golden chariot pulled by the seven horses. These seven horses represents the seven colors which forms the light. This constant traveling of sun somehow represents the state of our soul, how it travels from one life to another in search of enlightenment. According to astrology, sun is the king, the father, and most importantly, it's our soul. One of the most beautiful hymns dedicated to sun, Aditya Hridaya Strotam, indicates how important sun is in the world of astrology. Nakshatra Graha Tara Na Madhipo Vishwabhavana Tejasamapi Tejasvi Dwadash Ataman Namustute He is the lord of constellations, stars and planets and the origin of everything in this universe. Salutations to the universal soul who appears in the form of 12 months of the year. This is how sun is so important to us and in today's video, we will be focusing how the placement of sun in Navamsha can reveal a lot about your present journey. What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, we'll be talking about the placement of Sun in the Navamsha division. What does planet Sun in the D9 chart has to reveal about you, your personality, the present journey of your soul, and of course, how your soul is going to experience the bond of marriage in the current life. Now, before we start with this analysis, I really want to make a very humble request to all of my subscribers. Please watch the introduction part, the explanation part completely and carefully. Don't skip it. It happened in my last video, Moon in Navamsha, where most of the people just skipped the introduction part and they just jumped to the individual placements. And after that, there was this overflowing ocean of doubts in the comment section. Are you talking about the moon sign of Navamsha? Are you talking about the Lagna sign of Navamsha? So it's better that you should learn the theory first and then rush to the practical. See, videos like this one take a lot of effort and time because uh, in such videos, you have to bring a very vast topic into a concise yet understandable format. Okay, so please show some love for the work I do for you people because over here my motto is that you should understand your individual horoscope in a great manner. 
so do carefully listen to the intro and yeah with that being said let's begin with our analysis if you're looking for this one person who can completely change your life then do look into the mirror and you will find this person it's only you and yourself who can understand your true worth and that's what sun represents sun is your inner voice it's your soul it represents qualities like confidence pride self-worth and vitality wherever sun is placed in the horoscope it just highlights the affairs of that house that particular house becomes the center of attraction for the world sun is the only planet in astrology which represents eyesight the vision why because it is the only source of light without sun there is nothing but darkness without the blessings of sun you can't even look into a horoscope and predict the future events you have to seek the blessings of sun over here with the term eyesight i mean that sun is providing you with a vision a foresight to see the world with a great clarity navigate yourself find the right direction and make the right decision moon will always tell you to follow your basic instincts saturn will always compel you to follow the norms of society follow the rules and regulations but at last the burden of decision is on your inner voice it's your inner voice your soul which decides where to go what to follow so sun is a planet which helps in decision making if sun is afflicted in the horoscope it will affect your confidence it will affect your decision making ability when you look at the shashti amsha of sun which means the sign and the house placement of sun in the d60 chart it will give you a big idea about the journey of your soul what kind of circumstances situations and experiences your soul have witnessed throughout its journey throughout many lives when you look at the placement of sun in the rashi chart it will reveal the qualities desires and challenges your soul is carrying in the current life the placement of sun in the rashi chart will represent how you are going to deal with the reality the real world and how you will work hard to achieve your physical and material desires but when you look at the placement of sun in navamsha it holds the secret to your learning process evolution transformation and most importantly your accomplishments D9 division will always give you an idea about your achievements and fruits of your actions and that's why it's known as the dharma amsha dharma means dharan and amsha means division so dharan means to hold on to something it's your code of conduct what kind of morals principles and values you accept in life one of the greatest epic in this world mahabharat is an example your dharma your code of conduct principles and values will have an impact on your actions and these actions will have a reaction okay and that's why we called navamsha as dharma amsha what is d9 chart well d9 chart is the microscopic view of your ninth house Ninth house is eleven places away from the eleventh house of desires, hopes, dreams, ambitions, and achievements. So Navamsha will decide the fruits of your desires, your dreams, the fruits of your actions which you will take to accomplish your ambitions. Okay, and that's why Navamsha always gives an idea about. the next life where you are going what's your next journey now what does sun in navamsha has to reveal about your marriage number 1 the sign and the house where sun is placed in the d9 will become the area of focus in terms of marriage 
that's how the world will perceive your relationship with the partner okay what is sun sun is the light it is something which is visible so that aspect of your marriage that aspect of your relationship will be visible to the world and a lot of activity will happen with respect to that particular house or sign suppose sun is in the second house of navamsha so there will be a great focus towards collecting finances saving money family will be a great priority number 2 the placement of sun in navamsha will reveal a lot about your soulmate and of course how your soul is going to experience the bond of marriage who is a soulmate well a soulmate is nothing but the extension of your very subconscious it's the reflection of your hidden personality you and your soulmate are the two faces of the same coin and this is how sun will give you a great idea about your married life in today's video we will be focusing on the sign the sign occupied by sun in the navamsha we'll talk about the house placement also but in a separate video let's focus on the amsha fall of sun in the d9 chart amsha means division fall means fruit so let's understand what kind of fruits sun is promising in this life so let's begin whenever sun is placed in the navamsha of mars the very first thing which one seeks is freedom freedom is everything it is certainly very difficult to follow the path advised by others your soul seeks appreciation life will give many opportunities and events when people will praise you like a hero being stuck at work or indecisiveness can make you go crazy as you want clarity and speed when it comes to accomplishment of your goals though you may attract the interest of many people but you will have limited number of friends and close relationships because you seek such people in life who are equivalent to you in terms of intelligence talent status and success type of company matters to you the most as you know it's after all your company companionship which decides the speed of success and growth definitely the world will consider you as a superior personality you absolutely dislike when people around you are indecisive lazy or stuck in a situation with time and age your confidence and personality both will get stronger whether it's work or home your role will get bigger authoritative and influential to be more precise you will enjoy a celebrity like status and due to this royal status you may also receive some hatred or jealousy because others may not enjoy your status and they may wonder why do you get so much importance from the world you will work hard as your soul seeks recognition it wants approval from the world the most troublesome part of this placement is that one cannot work with others as a team because sun in aries navamsha thinks that it is the final authority or the leader there is an intense competitive and ambitious spirit which makes one quite successful in life father or a father like figure will give major upliftment and success to you at some point of time the events experience at the younger age will make you a person who will focus more on self than others happiness will only come through recognition and fame sun in aries navamsha indicates a ego trouble with partner as your partner may also be equally dominant and strong personality just like you or it could be that the spouse is insecure because of your strong and influential persona more than the attention of your partner your marriage partner it's the attention of the whole world or you can say a larger number of people which makes you satisfied and happy 
This placement indicates that both you and your spouse are here together to improve and uplift each other's personality. Both of you have to work actively and constantly towards marriage plus the status after the wedlock will increase as spouse will bring upliftment in status. Sun in Aries Navamsha is an indicator that always listen to your spouse. It is the most important lesson to be learned in terms of marriage. Partnership will always be a challenge. You have a tendency to withdraw in marriage, especially when the spouse may try to dominate over you or try to take the center stage because at that time you may feel that the partner won't let you execute your own will and this act may snatch away your freedom. Overall, sun is all shining here, blessing you with great success and radiant personality. But again, it is giving you the duty to illuminate the world. Your soul has the duty to work for others. With planet sun in Taurus Navamsha, your soul desires to experience the sensual and material pleasures in life. No matter what you do, it's important that you derive pleasure and harmony from each and every action. It's through family and heritage from where you get confidence, strength and ego. Your soul has a purpose and that is to learn tolerance and strength. Nothing in this world can shake your determination. You may greatly focus on prosperity, wealth and luxury because through these things, your self-confidence and optimism will go higher. Throughout the current journey, you will evolve and work harder to achieve the goals. Happiness and confidence will increase with your belongings and material possessions. When it comes to relationships, you may get highly possessive about your partner. It's very important for you that the spouse should mix up well with your family. Sun in Taurus Navamsha indicates that the partner can be stubborn in nature. It might get quite difficult for him or her to work according to your desires. Partner may belong to equally powerful family like yours or may be even more financially well off than you. Despite of all that stubborn nature and ego, your partner will have the capacity to continue with the marriage bond in a long-lasting manner. You will seek emotional security through marriage and your partner will seek strength through marriage and that's what will make this bond stronger. You may take a lot of time to find out the right partner. It will be a tiring process. But once the bond is made, the relationship will be stronger and stronger with time. Having a spark of romance in a relationship is very essential for you. People can take advantage of your cool, gentle and caring nature. It's very important to be surrounded by right kind of people. Your attractive personality and knowledge will prove to be the best qualities providing with great respect and appreciation by the world. Your soul seeks beauty in everything, whether it's, it's the nature, the home or people in life. You will expect your partner to be always neatly dressed and groomed. Music and dance are the two activities which can help you to stay charged, happy and optimistic. Despite for the love of wealth and material pleasures, you may not become a big risk taker in life as security means everything to you. Everything in life needs to be in a decorum and organized manner. You have an unique talent of understanding the people's speech and ideas in a clear manner. Therefore, if this quality is somehow used in career, then success will have no boundaries. People around you will always feel comfortable and secure in your company, especially if you are a woman. With this placement, it's really hard for others to impress you because it's important for you to go for a serious and stable relationship. 
son in taurus navamsha always have a certain set of idea or qualification of ideal spouse in mind that's why it's difficult to choose and find the right person with sun in gemini navamsha your soul seeks to shine bright through communication and self expression the real struggle with this placement is that it always offer two paths to choose and you may get confused which path to follow there is nothing called stagnant or stable in life as you will constantly seek change change and movement is very essential that's why it might be very hard for you to focus on a job or a relationship for long time because you may get easily bored for you relationships should be refreshing there should be this spark which always excite you about your partner sun in gemini navamsha will slowly transform you into an intelligent and brilliant speaker through your communication skills you will achieve milestones it's absolutely essential for you to stay busy that's why you may indulge in learning more than one subject at a time people around you whether it's friends or family will simply love you because you are absolutely fun and joyful personality it can be difficult for others to cope up with your energy levels the major challenge faced with sun in gemini navamsha is the lack of satisfaction throughout life you may keep on switching from one job to another because you are looking for something interesting something which makes your mind satisfied because of this others may think that you are not a persistent individual lack of patience can bring difficult situations but your power to twist the mind of other people to be precise the power to convince others can really be a great gift in this life this quality can be very useful in terms of relationships you can literally convince anyone with your speech and ideas and that's why it's easy to attract many people romantically at the same time your charming aura and sharp intellect will attract a large number of friends and social contacts when it comes to marriage the spouse may exhibit unpredictable behavior not just in marriage even in romantic relationships partner can be totally unpredictable sometimes this person may behave very romantic and loving but within a second he or she may become totally disinterested in you spouse can be highly moody and you may stay always uncertain about your partner's behavior this simply brings us to one point that the spouse may exhibit multiple personalities or multiple ways to deal with you in marriage partner's ideas will keep on changing from one day to another they won't remain same tomorrow you have a tendency to hide your true intentions from others your speech and actions perfectly hide your intentions it's because you don't like others to dig your mind and invade your personal space this quality of yours can bring gap in communication with spouse throughout this life everything around you place job people and relationships will keep on changing being in a relationship is very essential in this lifetime as you cannot stay alone for a long time your power to read the minds of others will give will give a great help in profession and relationships as well there is a possibility that you may uh, witness two serious love relationships in this lifetime and even two marriages a lot depends upon your overall horoscope it may take some time in figuring out what's your true purpose in life but once you find it no one can beat you because of your sharp intelligence swift skills and brilliant communication methods success will always be on your side with sun in cancer navamsha your soul may seek physical and emotional security in life 
you want to be belonged to a secure place there is a great desire to explore one's roots lineage and traditions it's through home and your roots you will derive happiness confidence and most importantly your identity there could be an issue in family which may cause distress and unhappiness in the earlier days of life criticism or negligence from family members may give a strong desire to seek emotional balance through relationships therefore your soul will chase the goal of having a perfect and loving family for you marriage won't be just having a companion to live this life marriage will be a way through which you will create that secure and stable environment around you you may constantly get bombarded by negative comments or criticism because others may not fully understand your vision and ideas this will make you prone to anxiety and stress that's why it's necessary to keep away from negative relationships sun and cancer navamsha has a tendency to absorb negativity and this negativity can be reflected by your persona the role of father also leaves a big impact on life Father's nature can be unpredictable sometimes or with time gradually father may take up the motherly role there is definitely some emotional trouble of father which may get reflected in your nature and it may reflect as insecurity by your persona when it comes to marriage spouse can be highly romantic but on the same side he or she can be extremely moody The commitment and the duties carried by the spouse may stay unstable. Through marriage your soul seeks emotional satisfaction, mental peace and happiness. Therefore it's your emotional bond with the partner which will decide the stability and the longevity of marriage. Despite the mood swings, spouse will always stick to you because this person may exactly know how to nourish you and your family. If son is not placed in a good house in Navamsha then this means that the partner can be highly tricky and manipulative in nature the best part about this placement is that one learns and remembers the past mistakes the sensitive nature helps here to retain the lessons from the past and this will help you to create a better and secure future the most important lesson to be learned by you with sun in cancer navamsha is to create your own path it's hardly possible that the family or the friends may help you out in the process of growing you have to be a self-made person and establish your own identity there is a big need to express and share your emotions with the world but yes you have to be careful you have to choose the right person with whom you can share your emotions You may not attract a big crowd or large number of friends as you are very choosy in terms of relationships. It's the quality of people than the quantity which matters. There will be few but significant people in your life. Even if you do good to others, don't be surprised if they don't return the favor or they get jealous of you in return. Over here the main motto of your soul is to be emotionally stable irrespective of the external environment with sun in leo navamsha self expression is everything for you your soul desires that the world should listen to your ideas and thoughts so yes your present life transformation is all about creativity and showing the world your true potential plain simple and boring life is not meant for you as you will chase drama and action the soul wants to experience royal status and attention this placement will inspire you to strive for high aims and achievements it will also make you prone to take heavy risk in life therefore the biggest challenge for you is to think patiently and intelligently before making important decisions your magnetic and charismatic persona will attract attention of a vast crowd working under the supervision or authority of others is an impossible task you absolutely hate to stay indecisive 
or stagnant in life. Your soul will chase empowerment and strength not only through work but also through spirituality because spirituality will help you to feel positive and confident. You may project to the world as strong, powerful and determined individual but within your mind lives a fear. And that fear is all about losing the status. Criticism can really shut you down. Over here, the soul desires to entertain the world and be the center of attraction. Taking frequent breaks or a rest is a trademark for sun in Leo Navamsha because this period of in- inactivity will help you to re-energize. Also, despite a strong determination, there is always a tendency to be lazy. You may come across many love affairs before finally getting married and choosing this right person. Selecting a right partner won't be an easy task as you seek a partner who should completely stay dedicated towards you. Marriage, children, overall the domestic environment will be your major priority. The moment you feel you are not being loved anymore, you will try to back off from the marriage relationship. Spouse can be melodramatic in nature. Therefore, you have a challenge to bear with the over-exaggerated behavior of the partner. More than marriage, it would be like you have adopted a child in the form of your spouse, as he or she may demand a lot of care and attention. It's very important for you to find someone who is lively, vibrant and happy-go-lucky in nature. Because you seek romance and action in marriage, otherwise you will get bored easily. The same kind of structured routine at the domestic front doesn't really work for you. Sun and Leo Navamsha is blessing you with great confidence and pride. Even if you don't feel it now, you will explore this one day. This very pride of yours can be a problem for others. Even the spouse can misunderstand you to be self-centric. Ego clash with partner is inevitable. Overall, your soul will constantly chase success. Because of this, you will get appreciation and honor. You also have a great ability to fix the shoes of other people magically. With Sun in Virgo Navamsha, one has a purpose to serve and heal others. With this placement, one learns a lot from the childhood memories. Each and every event at the younger age leaves a great impact. All that knowledge and experiences acquired from the young age help in becoming a logical, smart and perfectionist personality. You can naturally understand the pain and the insecurities of the weak people. There is an intense desire to heal others through medicine, service, nutrition, finance and justice. There is so much power to your mind that it can work brilliantly even in the most dreadful environments. Though there is a great balance and strength while dealing with the problems of others, but within you lies a soul who may stay super nervous and worried all the time. You want to do everything in perfection, plus you take more work than you can actually manage and all those things will give big anxiety. And weak body. This desire to stay super busy and stay engaged at work leaves no time for strong relationships whether it's family, friends or marriage. Finding a partner is not an easy task because you might have long checklist when it comes to choosing a right partner. Evaluation and assessment of the partner's qualities take a lot of time. That's why certainly you will take a long period to transform a love relationship into marriage. Your spouse can be super demanding in nature. He or she may think that every action of yours is based on self-interest. Your partner will be simply straightforward in dealing with you. He or she may not hesitate 
in mentioning your faults and mistakes. Therefore, this quality of your partner may hurt your sentiments. Spouse will definitely bring nourishment and upliftment in life. But remember, you are in for some crazy arguments. Daily arguments will be a part of your married life because both of you may criticize each other. The best part of this placement is that despite of criticism and arguments, son in Navamsha gives a partner who will take care of all your needs. You won't be left alone to suffer in a disease or a difficulty because your partner will be always there for you. This person will take care of all your needs. It could be possible that an external source or envy people may try to tarnish your image and also may cause troubles in marriage. It's important to set boundaries with people. Throughout this life, you will chase work and perfectionism. Because of these two things, you seek confidence and purpose. But the major lesson to be learned in this life is to focus on self. Be gentle and kind to yourself. You may become workaholic leading to emotional detachment with others and most importantly, you may ignore your own needs. Therefore, you have to be kind to yourself. Your analytical mind is the greatest gift to you. Through this brilliant talent of analytical and sharp memory skills, you can reach to great heights of success. It's difficult for you to forget bad memories, hatred and criticism. Therefore, there is a tendency that you may hold on to grudges. And this won't let you heal and stay happy. That's why it's essential to speak your heart out. Leave no room for suspicion or misunderstandings in relationships. With age, you will strictly focus on your health, diet and nutrition. Maybe at young age, you might have suffered from many health issues and that's why you will be more interested towards fitness and healthy lifestyle. Don't be nervous or shy to face the world because other people may take the credit of your work. Therefore, you have to be open. You have to say that, yes, I do this work. With Sun in Libra Navamsha, your soul has a challenge to balance between self-love and love for others. The events and experiences faced in earlier life might have taught how important it is to love yourself. But gradually, it might get very difficult for you to harmonize with the close relationships. You can't tolerate such relationships which are one-sided, where it's only you who's doing all the effort. That's why over here, soul seeks bargain or contract in relationships just to make sure that you and your spouse both are doing equal efforts in marriage. With Sun in Libra Navamsha, the overall personality get more attractive and graceful with time. You want harmony and balance in each and every aspect of life. As Libra is considered to be the debilitation sign for Sun, it definitely affects the confidence. You may experience some hesitation or pressure while dealing with large number of people. The main purpose in this life is to establish leadership qualities, take charge in life. There can be a constant fear of losing identity or you may feel that others may try to dominate over you. Therefore, by working on partnership or relationships, you can overcome the problem of self-doubt and insecurity. In terms of marriage, you have to work hard in this life. Active participation and coordination is required. You and your spouse cannot be two separate units. Both of you have to be a single unit. This is how your coordination should be. Your partner may require constant approval or validation that he or she is being loved by you. Your spouse may also act as a deal maker or negotiator on your behalf. This person will also bring such lessons to you which may help in improving your self-esteem. 
being decisive and making a right choice at right time is the ultimate goal of your soul you have to learn the art of decision making sometimes it's possible that you may easily compromise or agree with others because all you care about is harmony but people may take you for granted or misuse this quality of yours it can be difficult for you to start with your own work or project though you may seek to perform higher important roles in life but deep within you may feel reluctant a strong partner whether it's business or marriage is required to uplift your spirits the quality of seeking validation and importance through relationships might have come to you through father if you are a woman then this placement certainly indicates that the partner will desire to be the center of universe overall whether you are a man or a woman you will always get attracted more towards a highly confident dramatic and authoritative personality partner can be highly melodramatic your love for art beauty designing and entertainment will give great success as you are born to work in such fields as you desire appreciation and admiration in life all of this will be derived from your talent related to art design diplomacy and even healing in order to reap success in life you have to work on your compromising and accommodating nature just like sun in aries navamsha sun in scorpio navamsha also seeks freedom but here the struggle to get freedom is intense and difficult one may feel pressurized or frustrated because of the younger age experiences it's likely possible that you might not have received much space and freedom at that time therefore sun in the navamsha of scorpio gives intense desire to be free and independent that's why you will transform into a very powerful intense and strong individual the world may perceive you as a mysterious or secretive personality there will be always such people around who will try to dig into your life and your secrets it's difficult to seek secrecy and privacy with this placement one may prefer to stay behind the scenes sun in scorpio's navamsha promises a major transformation in life here the soul's purpose is to be bold and become resistant to all ups and downs all sudden changes ups and downs of life will make you powerful there is certainly a powerful transformation with this placement or you can say more than a transformation it will appear to be like a rebirth planet sun is blessing you with a penetrative insight you can look beyond the darkness what others fail to notice people will get surprised how this silent how this secretive personality has transformed into a rebel sun in scorpio also indicates that your soul needs healing therefore you may indulge into deeper mysteries of life like occult tantra astrology reiki and this will help you in feeling happy and stable also there is a desire to heal others your soul will desperately chase the answer of one question who you truly are what is your true identity and this will make you work hard in life as you want a good status and meaning in life there can be an incident or event related to father which may impact your work or your psychology father might have secretive nature which in turn made you insecure or underconfident this placement indicates that both you and your spouse may focus a lot on finances for you financial security comes first and then comes marriage there can be some secrets in marriage or your partner would be unable to express his or her feeling to you partner may misunderstand or take your words personally despite of some ego struggles sun in scorpio navamsha can really give intense physical and emotional compatibility with the spouse 
you and your partner both may be very possessive about each other plus there will be always a competition who will dominate whom therefore it's necessary to give some space to each other sudden ups and downs will make your marriage more stronger your purpose over here is to break taboos do what others people are afraid of doing when it comes to relationships it can be a difficult placement because it's difficult to please you as you have created a protective shell around yourself suspicion will always acts as a hurdle in making a strong bond with others but once the bond is formed with you your loyalty and care will have no boundaries with this placement the biggest challenge is to get rid of the fear of the uncertainty as you have a goal to be bold and powerful with sun in sagittarius navamsha the soul has a desire to teach and show the right path to the world with this placement one is quite particular about his or her own code of conduct values and principles over here spirituality becomes the source of energy growth and enlightenment you will gradually transform into a powerful and inspirational personality your straightforward style of dealing with others may cause some troubles because people may think that you are being too harsh with the way you speak they may fail to acknowledge that it's your super honest nature which makes you talk in a straightforward manner otherwise you are a very gentle and kind individual you may witness a very strong and dominant father or a father like figure who will act as a guru as a teacher in your life you absolutely love to spread light optimism and happiness among people and that's why you have a tendency to give advice to others not everyone may take your advice in a healthy manner some people may think that you're acting quite dominant and bossy through helping others you seek happiness and comfort but you have to be very specific about who needs your help and who does not sun being in sagittarius navamsha will make you restless there is a desire to travel and experience different adventures in life stagnant and structured routine is not for you as you want to explore the world you may take many risks and challenges in order to achieve your goal in this life in terms of relationship you need that spark in actions to make things work once you feel that you are not getting the desired attention from your partner instantly you may try to withdraw from the relationship you seek a partner who can be the part of your adventurous life you desire that marriage should bring comfort prosperity and happiness to you but along with the comfort and prosperity sun in sagittarius navamsha will bring risk and responsibility in terms of marriage partner will be indeed a dominant and knowledgeable personality and behind this great persona lies a small child who is highly demanding in nature though all you seek is happiness in life but you have a duty to repair and heal the soul of your partner as he or she may sometimes exhibit depressive mood not just marriage you are here to bring healing in the other people's lives sun in sagittarius navamsha clearly indicates that you are a risk taker but your partner may look for stability through marriage you may take some time in taking the decision of marriage as you don't want anyone to take away your freedom no matter how dominant the spouse would be this person will be super honest with you marriage will bring happiness love and prosperity overall this placement gives a very positive attitude and this positive attitude will help you to heal others enthusiasm and optimism are two qualities which will take you to the higher levels of success 
you are born to teach, guide and spread knowledge. Despite of all the risk and adventures, sometimes you have to be really careful while walking on the path to success. Finances and health both needs a lot of attention. Avoid investing money at risky places. With Sun in Capricorn Navamsha, your soul seeks stability and happiness through a social rank, work and discipline. Work becomes the first priority over relationships as there is a desire to accumulate resources and attain a strong social status. No matter how fast you try to achieve something, success will come to you at a gradual pace because Sun in Capricorn Navamsha wants you to learn and develop perfect strategies to success. Patience is the biggest lesson to learn. One simply doesn't fit in today's world of show-off and pretentious personalities. Others may perceive you as weak competitor, but it's the brilliance of Sun accompanied by the perseverance of Saturn which will make you a clear winner. More than how you look and how you dress, it's your intelligence and success which will matter the most. Your talent will provide a higher social rank and appreciation. Your best talent is the ability to take good decisions and this talent of yours will always give strong leadership roles. Sun in Capricorn Navamsha is never in a hurry to get married or to be in a relationship. Firstly, you are not often left with enough time to get into romance because of the tight working schedule. Plus, there is a desire to work all by yourself as you have a serious problem with authority. So all of these things indicate that you will focus a lot on your work. You will not be easily impressed by others. When it comes to friends or social contacts, your social skills will work brilliantly. You have the ability to transform or accommodate according to the people and the situation around you. But in marriage, it won't be easy for you to understand someone's nature and also you may think about the long-term effect and the sustainability of relationship. Bond with the partner has to be persistent and strong. You may marry someone who will hold a very influential or authoritative role at his or her own workplace as your soul seeks the best person in town. Spouse will also be equally career-oriented personality, but he or she may exhibit gloomy nature. Partner won't be much romantic kind of a person because Saturn is making one cold and stubborn in nature. Spouse may have a lot of expectations from you from the marriage bond because this person desires to attain respect and authority through marriage and you will seek security and support through marriage. Sun in Capricorn Navamsha indicates the social life will get much better after marriage and you will continue to climb the ladder of success. Although you will rigorously chase success, but sometimes there can be a period of inactivity or stagnancy. You may show sudden disinterest or withdrawal in life is because of the lack of spiritual inclination. Sun in Capricorn Navamsha somehow loses its positive and spiritual vibes. Due to constantly working, the vitality of sun drains out. There is a fear of uncertainty and survival, which will make you chase materialistic things. After all, resources and money will provide you the ultimate security and safety to survival. A childhood memory may leave a scar or a fear in the mind and because of this, your soul will constantly chase a higher social rank so that no one in the world can blame, punish or disgrace you. You and your spouse have to work really hard on marriage. Responsibilities will increase exponentially after the wedlock. Together, 
both of you will set a great example in the society because both of you will be an inspiration to others in order to get success all you have to do is to get rid of your self doubt and uncertainty with sun in aquarius navamsha a soul desires to transform dreams into reality no matter how impossible those dreams are one chases manifestation of desires into achievements just like sun in capricorn sun in aquarius also have to get over with the feeling of uncertainty and doubt it could be father's behavior or the friend circle which may have hampered your confidence at younger age therefore one has to get rid from the feeling of inferiority and transform into a confident and humanitarian person who really care for the needs of others planet saturn tends to block the light of sun people may perceive you as cold and reserved individual who only cares about self but the truth is you are pretty underconfident and this thing disables you to connect to the world In this life you are born with the purpose to serve the group of people such category of people who are often disregarded and deprived of their basic rights serving others is the ultimate goal and purpose sun in aquarius navamsha may give multiple love relationships in this life as you may struggle to find out that one suitable partner who connects to you in the best manner there can be some kind of gloominess or anxiety throughout this life and it could be related to childhood experiences you may have a vision a prerequisite about your future spouse which means you desire to have certain qualities and traits in your partner you might stay quite rigid about these qualities therefore finding the right person may take a lot of time and efforts the spouse can be highly practical stubborn and determined individual he or she may have difficulty in expressing the emotions and sympathy towards relationships but when it comes to empathy and kindness towards the weak people your partner may go beyond the limits to help others the spouse will always try his or her best to invade your thoughts and ideas but when it comes to expressing their own ideas and feelings they will completely fail at this this placement brings some confusion in relationships sometimes you may feel that you are giving a lot of attention to one person and because of that many others in your life are getting ignored this feeling causes sudden withdrawal from relationships because you want to focus on others also and because of this spouse may feel detached or isolated Marriage is really not the very first priority with Sun in Aquarius Navamsha because you have a desire of accomplishment and stability of finances. Your soul is very much aware of the fact that marriage is not about rainbows, unicorns and chocolates. It's a serious and heavy responsibility and that's why you may take a lot of time to take the decision of marriage. Don't expect your partner to bring expensive gift items or surprises you with romantic gestures but you can expect a huge support and long lasting togetherness. In terms of marriage you also have to work hard to be expressive about your love for the partner. You're not born to be the part of the existing rat race. You have your own unique style of dealing with work. you require some space time and detachment to perform well in initial years of life the whole world including you won't understand this quality of yours but with time you will embrace this quality of yours after all it's the quality of work which matters not the speed of the work your soul has a lesson to learn and that is in some battles 
you have to fight alone. Just focus on your future goals as you have the power to manifest every dream into reality. And along with that, don't forget to live in the present moment fruitfully. With Sun in Pisces Navamsha, a soul seeks to chase dreams and fantasies without any boundaries. You desire to create a world of your own. Psychic and intuitive powers are quite strong with this placement. Sometimes your dreams and visions may guide you during difficult situations of life. Leadership quality is almost missing or weak because sun loses its light in Pisces Navamsha. Also, you won't like to work under other people. You seek freedom, isolation, privacy when it comes to work. Creativity is something which comes naturally to you. This quality was underdeveloped or it might have been unrecognized during your childhood. But with the time, the world will appreciate your creativity and imaginative power. There can be a feeling of detachment when it comes to relationships. It's because people may fail to understand your true nature or you might be unable to express yourself in front of others. Manifesting a strong relationship will take time. You are not the right fit for a structured and busy routine as you seek space and time to perform your task. Over here, a soul has a lesson to be very clear and open while dealing with important relationships. You have to confront others and stand strong with your views and ideology. Spouse can act indecisive sometimes, but that doesn't mean he or she will be weak. Your partner will always be ready to sacrifice and do anything for you at the times of peril. You may take a lot of time to make up your mind for marriage as your soul seeks growth and development in life, but marriage can really slow down your personal growth. Also, you're highly vulnerable. You can soak up all the energies and emotions around you like a sponge. Therefore, it's important for you to be strong both spiritually and emotionally before getting into a relationship. The partner will be highly romantic and caring. This person will always work hard to fulfill your dreams, but the anger can be long-lasting too. Your spouse may rely too much on you when it comes to resources or emotional support. Not just partner, but important relationships in life may appear to be quite draining because people will seek empathy and support from you. It's only through spirituality you can gain strength and confidence to deal with others. You should really learn to say no to others. Avoid escaping difficult situations. Just directly say what you truly feel. You are a born empath and with this your soul has a purpose to heal other people's mind. Because you have a power to understand the emotions and the psychology of others very easily. The major issue with Sun in Pisces Navamsha is the loss of identity. Therefore, your true identity can only be explored by indulging into spirituality. The more you stay away from dramatic people, the more you will rise in life. Success and recognition will surely come to you, but at a slow pace. You will desire to be the part of a big social circle, but deep within, you will be aware of the fact that how superficial people are and this will make you reluctant to make strong bonds. Only a kind and empathetic person like you can be a true partner. Your vivid imagination is the key to outstanding success and recognition. Blending with others would be a difficult task. Therefore, it's better to embrace who you truly are. So guys, that's all for today's video. I hope you have learned something new and interesting in today's video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for more such interesting content. See you next time. Take care.